Dizzy Heights was the first MC to be signed to a major label. Two singles from 1980 um, proceed both of these, however, namely Allen um, and Blue It's novelty record, Chip Shop Rapping. Is that what um, Mike at the Chip Shop named his shop after? Um, released in 1980, a parody of Sugar Hill Rapper's Delight and Vocals Mo Money Love. That's what that Chip Shop Rapping is. And I'll be pulling that up right now. So Rapper's Delight, I, I mean, gets credited as the first hip-hop record a lot, right? No, no, no. Um, I'll pull out all of that text there. What is this, man? What the hell is this? Let me just finish, go to these comments again before. Um... George Michael had a better flow than Adamant. Yeah, Adamant had better beats. <laughs> Everyone in the chat, let us know what year you were born. Arms House said 1980. User Unknown said 1756. <laughs> That's why User Unknown knows what was going on 100 years earlier than the rest of us. Yeah, Social Conscious, 1982. Um, boom. I'm the youngest then, yeah? <laughs> I'm the youngest with my nineteen eighty three. Alright, so this chip shop rapping, um if I read that right is a parody of Rappers the Light, but let's see. Okay, sounds like it. Hold up. I wasn't really thinking when it was through. So what these men are saying, yeah? Remember when Task Force done graft the bus up, yeah? And Wah Blow. And I had done one called Nuff Things on a Nori Instrumental. We was doing that in the UK early, like, doing our versions. Th these men started it back then. <laughs> this is mad. When you get to home from work each day, your stomach feels like grass. You have a wash and then you say, I'm starving, our lass. The wife gets up and grabs her coat, she grabs your wallet too. Now come on, love, don't act the goat, go get some food for two. I said a chip shop, a chippy, the chippy with a chip chip shop, you don't stop the going for the bang bang man. It's a fried place and addict with chippies and a mushly peas. Fried place and addict with... Chippies and the Moshini Peas. <laughs> Ig said it sounds like AI. That might be the first this that first AI this song, right? <laughs> Fit the funk said this song's making me hungry. Yeah, me too, man. Can you fry? Can you fry me a haddock with chips and pie? Can you wrap them too? Thanks, that will do. Guess I'ma be real with you. I'ma be hundred percent real. It, let me, let's just double check again. Was this record first? Was this record out first? Um yeah, released in 1980, yeah? And uh, Dizzy Heights came out two years later. Now, this is better than Dizzy Heights, though. It said this is like... Arms, I said this is like Goldie Looking Chain. Yeah, but... It sounds quite British. He's not rapping American, is he? Like, I don't... I know it's a joke record in that, yeah? But he's actually rapping. Like, he's actually... A, like, we, like I say, we did this, Graph the Boss, we did this years later in hip-hop culture. So he's actually rapping British. London Posse were not the first. This is the most British thing I've ever heard in my life. This, like this, mushy peas, pickled, all, this is insane. This is the most British thing I've ever heard in my life and it's definitely hip hop. I, I don't know, it says Alan and Blue It. I don't know what, what they're both rappers or what. Nuff Prop said bars. I, 
chippy, a chippy with a chip, chip shop, but you don't stop the queuing for the bang, bang, massive rap. <laughs> Iggs the Great said, if I had no life, I'd be changing wiki now. But what I, what I, if, if it is AI, um, I, if anyone can just confirm that this actually happened back then, Iggs the Great is saying he thinks this is AI. You never know. They might have just made this recently as AI and put it on Wikipedia so we all believe it. Um, Chris Hayes said, it's Michael Parkinson. It's not fucking Michael Parkinson. It's definitely not the rapper Michael Parkinson. He said it's actually Michael Parkinson. <laughs> It's man like Alan, yeah? <laughs> Chrome, Chrome, um, the text said, brilliant, I've been schooled today. Fully, like, I thought we already discovered it was Dizzy Heights and we've just basically worked out. I was, I only played this because it said it was a parody, but I'm not hearing the parody angle because the other song was a parody as well. So this, to me, until anyone proves me wrong, this is the first UK hip hop record and it's also the first UK rapper with a British accent. The, the entire, like my entire understanding of UK hip hop has just been thrown out the window. Glass of ale. Oh, look, you fun old fail. What do you mean? I never buy them. I'm smoking every day. Oh, yeah, he says, I know you'll try and one day you'll have to pay. It's getting late. The landlord shouts. Time on your glasses, please. With lager, bitter, and milk stouts consumed with fire bees. Then someone says, What's going on? They're scrapping in the loo. They're scrapping in the loo. Like, listen to how Brit. Like, every single bar, I could have paused it and been like, This is so British. It's the most, honestly, the most British thing I've ever heard. Now, Prop said it's a remix of the beat, too. <laughs> like, um, Armstrong said Michael Parkinson is definitely old enough for it to be him. I mean, it could be. Armstrong said anyone heard Pitman? Yeah, Pitman was hard, man. That was saying, Pitman might have to get to Pitman one day. Fit the Funk said it would work better on the dance floor than Dizzy Heights track as well. Hundred percent. Um, Ig said gigs needs to sample Bang Bang Mash. Is that what it says? Bang Bang Mash. Um, yeah, Pitman. Enough props have never heard of Pitman. Pitman was like a parody rapper that came out years later in the early 2000s. Um, he had a song called 50 Pence, I think, or it was good still. It was funny. Football fans says Barman John, let's call the boys in blue. We all file out into the street and sing through drunken lips. Our nostrils say it's time to eat, let's get some fish and chips. I said fish, shop, chip, shop, steak, kidney pie. Yeah, what? Steak and kidney pie. Don't shout, I'll pay you fry. Let's get some fish and chips, you say, with pie and mushy peas. Then a tramp walks and you move away for fear of jumping fleas. You smile and say, all right there, Jack, I like your trendy clothes. Dressed in rags with a two-tone Mac and shoes with open toes. I said, fish, shop, chip, shop, steak, kidney pie. You what? Shut up, big mouth, just give us some chips. Don't shout, I'll pay you fry. I said, a chip, shop, a chippy, a chippy with a chip, chip, shop. But you don't stop the queuing for the bang, bang, mash. I said, fried place. And bang, bang, mash. <laughs> for the bang bang mash yeah uh, uh. oh yeah witness the pitness uh, that was eye opening uh, um, Chrome Dev Text I did the intro on the Pitman LP big up I remember listening to the LP what were you saying um, you produced it or what did you do on it um Arms House said, go check out Witness the Pitness. Yeah, so he used to do them kind of like parody songs like this, right? But it was, yeah, it was hilarious. Um, North Prop said, yeah, I know now the Northern OG. Um, Arms House said, I kind of need this on wax now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, bro, it's iconic, man. This, <laughs> this fit the funk said, this needs a re release. I mean, I'm going to have to go and find these, man, and invite them onto the show. We have to find them and try and do an interview. Like it's just, just saying, arms house is off the discogs to try and find the vinyl. Like I thought we just honestly thought we discovered who the first UK rapper was, and the whole thing has changed. Um, I'm gonna make a whole separate video about this tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm probably gonna wrap it up soon because I think we've we've answered the question, right? Um, but I want to probably look at a couple of the others. 
Um, Chris Hayes said this was Pete and Bass's ops from back in the day. <laughs> I'm saying Pete and Bass have made a comeback though, you know what I'm saying, for the new era. Alan and Blue it. Cause that this really was like you know, I'm not I'm not gonna play it all again, but I'm just gonna run a couple bars. For the bang bang mash, yeah. Not only is this the start of UK hip hop on record, it's the first British rapper, first UK rapper on a record, first UK rapper with a British accent, and the start of road rap with the bang bang mash, yeah. <laughs> the guy's an innovator. We need to find Alan. We need to find MC Alan and blew it. Um, the answer to the question is, who is the first UK rapper? MC Allen. And that's it. It's all over. I'm never going to hear Random Posse saying they started British rap in a British accent again. Fit the funk, put the fire emojis. It's the... It's the... Like, if I could track this guy down, I will actually get him to put put this hook on a new record. We'll actually bring this record back, 100%. Um, 